Hi, in this video, we look at how the force that dampens the motion of an object affects spring animation in Swift UI. This is called damping. Damping is the same as the frictional force that dampens the motion of an object. You can see in this example, we are using the interpolating spring to create this animation of the ball. It has these parameters, mass, stiffness, damping, and initial velocity. In the previous videos, we look at mass and stiffness. In this video, we are looking at how the damping affects spring animation in Swift UI. You can use the damping parameter of the interpolating spring to create less bouncy or more bouncy animation. If you want to create less bouncy animation, you set the damping to a larger value. You can see in this example, the damping parameter is set to 5. By changing this value to 1, we create more bouncy animation. If we change the value to, for example, 30, we now get a less bouncy animation. So this is how the damping or the frictional force affects spring animation in Swift UI. To create more bouncy animation, we reduce the value of the damping. To create less bouncy animation, we increase the damping value. 